beauty years and welcome back to my channel for those of you who don't know me my name is Pamela and I put out beauty related videos once a week sorry I didn't put out one last week or did I but uh, I was a little bit on the busier side last week and uh, yeah I'm here today though so today's video is um, I'm not quite certain what I'm gonna call it yet it's like expensive makeup I've always wanted to try but just couldn't afford and now that I've got a little bit of income coming in my way um, I have been splurging a lot I purchased a few things from Sephora this month um, and they are expensive to me they may not be expensive to you you may be more accustomed to purchasing from Sephora but it is new ground for me so so a lot of this stuff is also holiday collections two um, things in particular I have the Fenty Beauty resting peach face like holiday kit and then I also have the Natasha Denona holiday exclusive like little eyeshadow palette it comes with a brush so I thought these were really really nice and uh, a good way to try the brand without having to like you know really purchase a lot and plus I'm getting two products for the price of one and then I also have which I have been using oh I don't know what my neighbors are doing upstairs but I'm sorry I cannot control them and I also have the hourglass ambient lighting edit universe palette I've always wanted to try hourglass and I figured this was a good way to try a little bit of what they have to offer and this is beautiful <laughs> It's such a beautiful little palette that cost $80. And then I also have another product I've always, always, always wanted to try, but again, just couldn't afford. Um, I did get a mini, and that is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I just got a small size because I wanted to try it. I didn't want to invest in the large one, so I had a couple of things to try. I'm not going to babble any longer, so let's just get right into this. Yes. Okay, so I already did my eyebrows off camera. I just used my lovely e.l.f. brow pencil, the one that's like two bucks. And so I figured we'd start with the Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is um, basically like a highlighter, um, a primer, like there's like all kinds of ways that you can incorporate this into your makeup routine. And so I was I've, so I've always been curious about it because so many people love this product and I, I really wanted to try it so I bought it this time. So it does just say to apply this either all over your face, high points of the cheek, or even to use as a highlighter after you've put on your foundation. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start here. Does that look like a good shade? I got it in the shade three fair by the way they don't offer it in every shade for the minis but you know I, I think I can make this shade work I'm just applying this to the high points of my face and kind of like the spots where I would highlight I guess just to see what this is gonna look like hopefully it's not disastrous but we shall see what am I gonna use to blend it out I'm gonna use my foundation brush to blend this out just to see if I mix this a little bit in with my foundation today It'll look like really, really pretty and ooh, ooh, let me zoom you in. What am I doing with my life? Okay, now that I've got you all the way zoomed in, I'm sure you've tried this product before or you've tried something similar, but this is a first for me. And so far it just has given the skin kind of like this really pretty subtle glow and I would be down to just wear this product oh look at that that's beautiful like on its own I, I would literally just put my moisturizer sunscreen you know under eye cream and this product on top because that looks beautiful should have mentioned I don't have any other primer on because like I said this is supposed to be a primer so I wanted to see how this was going to look underneath the foundation and I think we're going to apply just a little bit on top of the foundation too to sort of layer but this this looks really really pretty and I think that shade is actually perfect for me go ahead and do my foundation and yeah just my foundation off of camera and I will be back to uh, play with the rest of the stuff I bought I meant to say I was going to apply my foundation and concealer, but I'm, I'm, I'm so bad at these things. But uh, everything applied beautifully. The skin looks really nice and fresh. 
I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit more of this product to the high points of my cheeks, just to kind of give me a little bit more radiance or that really nice glow from within. I wanna see what this looks like, even though I'm gonna put a powdered highlighter from the Hourglass palette on top. But um, yeah, let's see what this looks like. Apply just a couple dots to the high points of my cheeks. And you know what? Let's do all the other places I kind of did too, just to see what it does. I use a really like small brush to blend this out. Just because I want to keep it nice and concentrated and oh that's nice. It's not breaking up my foundation or messing things up. It looks really really pretty. Okay. Okay Charlotte Tilbury. This is the first time I've ever tried Charlotte Tilbury so she can be dangerous because she's so expensive. Ooh, that looks really pretty like on the cupid's bow that's nice now i'm sure once i powder like a lot of that glow will kind of go away but still looks really really pretty on the skin and again i'm down to just like wear my moisturizer spf and this product on top for like a super duper natural like glow oh my gosh look at that that's so nice like that's my kind of highlighter just gonna powder real quick. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. I have two different shades that I kind of just like rotate. Today I'm using the shade Light Pink. And I'm not gonna powder too much because I do have the Hourglass Powder to show you guys. So I'm just gonna take a little bit on the cap and um, pretty much cover the boop. But I'm just gonna quickly powder the face just a little bit. I love, I'm loving that, that right there, that little bit of glow, it's super pretty. Yeah, okay, I get it, I get the flawless filter, it's nice. Mm -hmm. Ah, crap, I forgot that I had a cream blush. Okay, well, I'm gonna do this now. Let's go ahead and try the Fenty Beauty, um, what's this called, Resting Peach Face. I tried one other Fenty product before, it's the, um, Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation. I really, really like that foundation. I'm still, you know, rocking it um, ever so often when I get to do my makeup, but it's a really, really nice product. And so I was really excited to dabble more into Fenty Beauty. I know I'm late to the game. A lot of people love this brand and rave about Rihanna's brand like crazy, but I thought this was a pretty good deal. I cannot remember at the top of my head how much I paid for it, but I'll leave it on the screen. And it came with a blush and a cream, a lip cream or lip gloss or something of that sort. I'm not sure. But um, this is what that shade is. It is in Peach Face. And I think that's a really, really beautiful, almost wearable orangey color. And I'm excited. I haven't even touched it yet. I actually still have the little plastic cover on the mirror. Shall we do this together? It's always so great. But um, I'm excited to try this. I love cream blush. And again, I've never tried their cream blushes from uh, Fenty Beauty. So let's grab a brush and put this on our face. See how pigmented you are. Okay, she got a little bit of pigment. All right, so let's see what this looks like. This mirror is so stinking cute, by the way. <laughs> and let's see what this looks like on the skin and on top of powder, because like I said, I already powdered and I forgot about this. Oh, okay. She's pretty. I don't really have, uh, maybe I do. I, I probably do. What am I saying? I don't think I really have anything this orange in my collection, but um, it is, a really really pretty color it's actually not as intimidating as I thought it was gonna be I'm not gonna lie I did open up the package and I didn't swatch it but I looked at it and I thought mm, that's a little too like like um clementine ish for me like it almost looks like a clementine orange color but it looks really really pretty on the skin and I'm just barely tapping the brush in here Less is more, it looks like, with this product because she is really, really pigmented. It's blending out like a freaking dream. It looks so beautiful on top of powder. So even if you forget to apply your cream blush before you powder, like it's it's working really, really well. And I'm, I'm quite impressed with it so far. Right now is the time to really try some of this like high-end makeup just because they put out all of their like 
holiday sets and you know that's why I decided to purchase the ones that I did because I've always wanted to try these brands but just couldn't afford it. See it's like a ongoing theme and I kind of want to start a series that's called that. Let me know let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. But this blush is looking really really pretty. I don't want to put any more because there is the Hourglass palette I also want to use today and I do want to dabble into some of the blushes in there as well but that looks really really nice it complements that glow really really well and I could totally rock just this by itself with a little bit of mascara and walk out the door right now and be totally totally satisfied with my makeup I think it looks gorgeous okay let's play with this one next so I'm not gonna lie I have had this for about a week now, yeah, about a week. I have been dabbling into this. This is the first time I've ever owned anything this luxurious or this expensive. Um, Hourglass, as you know, is a bougie brand. She's she's expensive, but I I, I love this. I, I love the marbling. I love the packaging. I think that this is, you know, uh, it's a tin can, by the way. I don't know if you knew that, but it's really, really nice, and I was really excited to pick this up this year because every year I've eyeballed this palette, and every year I've told myself, like, maybe this year I'll get it, and then I never do, but I'm, I'm not mad at my purchase, so let's start with the bronzer. I'm going to take this big fluffy brush, and the bronzer is in this corner here, and ooh, hello, Inception. Doesn't look like much, but you know what? It really does show up nice on my skin. I have more of a light to medium skin tone, and I think this is the lighter variation of the two palettes, and it does look really, really pretty on me, and it's like a beautiful, radiant, like, glow of a bronzer, and those are my favorite, like... I tried to like a matte bronzer, but your girl loves like a really beautiful, beautiful radiant bronzer. I think it just looks so much better. It gives the skin like dimension, so it doesn't just look like a straight line on the face. This shade is just right for me. Really, really love the way that this bronzer looks. And although the pan sizers are kind of small, it's actually not very difficult to get this giant brush in there. Looking like a bronze goddess now. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to take a little bit of the setting powder, which is this one right here. It's called the Finishing Powder in Infinity. I'm just going to take a little dusting of this, and I'm just going to press it a little bit in this area. Not really certain if it does much. I don't know. Like I haven't, I don't really ever use powders like this. I like my e.l.f. loose uh, setting powder and that's what I've been using for quite some time. But yeah, I don't know. It kind of just smooths the skin out a little bit more, but I don't think it does anything crazy to be honest. Like I wouldn't buy this individually. I'm glad that I never really did and that it just came in this palette for me to try because again I don't really see a huge or significant difference when using this product. The skin just looks a little bit more radiant but that's that's about as much as I notice and like I said my elf setting powder does that for me already. Now I'm going to dabble into this highlighter over here. I'm just going to Take this little brush and apply a little bit more glow. The highlighter, I will say, is really, really nice. It's finely milled, doesn't have any chunkiness to it. Um, I felt like at first there was like little chunks of glitter, but I think that was like an overspray. And now that I've like really dug into some of these shades, like it doesn't show up anymore. So, and look at how gorgeous i love more of a natural highlight and this this gives me that like a really nice subtle glow from within is my favorite and then i'm gonna pop on a little bit of blush and honestly i love both of the shades in here even this crazy bright ass pink but what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna take that same brush that i used to apply the fenty cream and just kind of boop 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 into both Tap off any of the excess and just kind of press a little bit in that area where I applied the cream blush. Gorgeous. And I love the way that the hourglass powders like have 
um, this beautiful radiant like finish and it doesn't make my skin look flat because I don't like looking like a flat matte. This is nice. So I'm really loving this. Like I said, I've been using it for about a week now and I'm still pretty much in love with it. So I, I like the splurge. I, I like this splurge a lot. Next up, we're gonna move into the Natasha Denona Holiday Exclusive. This is the Mini Metropolis and Eyeshadow Brush Gift Set. This was also a really good deal. I think this was $25 if I'm not mistaken, and I've never tried Natasha Denona eyeshadows, and so I was really, really excited. Plus this color scheme is like right up my alley. Like this is it. And so I'm really excited to dabble into this. I'm gonna use the brush um, as much as possible. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a huge, well, okay, yeah, maybe this brush will work to pack a little bit of color on the outside of my eyeball here, but um, I don't, I need a fluffy brush to start with, so let's, let's do that first. Zoomed you in a little bit closer, check out that skin. Oh my gosh, it looks beautiful. I'm gonna start with this primer here. I'm still testing this out, so I'm not quite certain how I feel about this. This is the NYX Ultimate Shadow and Liner Primer, Primer, Rhymer in the shade Light, I believe. Yep, yeah, shade Light. It comes in a couple different shades, but it doesn't really have too much pigment in it, and um, I am realizing that I really enjoy an eyeshadow base that has a decent amount of pigment so that it can cover up all those little veins on my eyelids, but um, this doesn't have it. I'm just gonna use my finger to blend this in or tap it out and smooth everything out. And the Natasha Denona has a really nice like bone color. Honestly, I could have gone without it, um, but you know, it's there, so let's use it. Just gonna take this fluffy brush. This is from the Laura Lee Los Angeles collection. This is the L26. Am I in focus? I take that shade, it's called Corrode. Is that correct? Yeah, Corrode, whatever. Ooh, she's a little bit dusty or a little bit powdery, but let's see what the hype of Natasha Denona eyeshadows is all about. Using that same brush, I'm gonna go into this like mustardy yellow color here. This one is called Rope, and I'm going to pop that one into the crease as well. She's, she's pretty pigmented, I'm not gonna lie. A little dusty or powdery, but that doesn't mean anything. Ooh, I really like that color, that's beautiful. Oh, that's blending out really, really nice and smooth. There's no like skipping or like, uh, sometimes I'll get like skipping in certain parts of my dry, crusty eyes, but this is, Blending out like a dream. Okay, I see you, Natasha Denona. I'm gonna take a little bit more of that bone color and just sort of like uh, buff out those edges there. Not really sure what direction I'm going with this eye look. I don't know if I wanna do that green or if I wanna keep it golden. Pony boy, anybody, anybody? I'm gonna go ahead and now move into the brush that the set came with and I'm gonna try this like darker color, it's it's like neutral, brown, with a little hint of green, I don't know, it's like khaki, khaki, that's the color. I'm just gonna pick up a little bit on the side of the brush, and I'm gonna pack that, ooh, okay, I'm gonna pack that right here, and blend a little bit of that into the crease. Oh, that's nice, okay. You know what? And I talk crap about the brush and I don't mind, I don't mind the brush. I don't mind it at all. I think it's kind of nice actually. Just gonna use that first brush to blend things out. Everything looks really, really pretty so far, like nice and blended and there's no skipping. The eyeshadows are pigmented and okay, I get it. I, I get the hype. Just gonna go back into the brush that the palette came with and I'm gonna get a little bit more of that yellow color and I'm going to run this on the lower lash line. This brush is nice for that too, I'm not gonna lie. And then I'm gonna go into that brown color again, same little brush and I'm gonna run that on the lower lash line as well. 
then I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to take that green color that's in the shade, is it Jubilee? Oh God, the writing is so small. Yeah, I think it's called Jubilee. I'm just going to use my finger and ooh, ooh, ooh. let's um, pack this. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, that's really nice. <laughs> but dang, that's really nice. And um, you know what? I'm not getting any fallout. <laughs> That's funny because usually these shadows do have a little bit of fallout, don't they? But that looks really nice. And going back in with this little brush, just going to blend out the edges there. Yeah, that looks really beautiful. And then I think I'm going to take that gold shade and put it in the inner most part of my eye here. I'm going to take my pinky and see if I can get it into that inner corner. Right there. Oh, oh, damn. <laughs> I'm just blending those two shades just ever so slightly. Hopefully you could see what I'm doing. But that looks really pretty. That's so pretty. I love it. <laughs> this one is a little bit chunkier than that green one, but um, still not getting any fallout. So that's really good. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Um, I might have to... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna switch to my left pinky so I can get into that corner. I think I'm just gonna stamp a little bit of gold on the rest of the eyelid too. Oh, that's beautiful. I did get a little bit of fallout with that gold shade, but it's definitely chunkier and it has like uh, more glitter particles, which is kind of nice because then you have two different formulas that you can um, play with when you use this, when you use this palette. You could either go with the green or the gold and I think both are beautiful and they definitely complement each other very, very well. I am going to finish the rest of my makeup off of camera and then I'll come back to try on that Fenty lip cream. Okay. Okay, so the face and eyes, are completely finished. I love the way everything looks. I think it's such a beautiful, beautiful little palette. If you have never tried Natasha Denona, I totally recommend it. Like I said, it was 25 bucks and you get a brush, um, or if you're looking for a gift to give someone, I still think this is a pretty good deal. Um, I loved every single shade that I used today. I'll definitely get good use out of this and I'll get good use out of that brush. So 10 out of 10 on that one. I wish they would have come up with different variations because I think it's a great idea and the fact that they included a brush in this year's like little gift set is perfection. Let's try the Fenty Beauty Cream in the shade Peach Pouch. Peach Pouch. Peach Pout. <laughs> I don't know if this color is going to do well with this whole eye look that I've got going on here, but you know what? Whatever. Let's see what it looks like and I'm dying to feel this formula. Oh, she's goopy. Very light fruity like smell i thought it would smell like peach that would have been nice it might actually be peach but i don't know let's see oh okay it's a little bit more sheer than i expected the applicator does pick up a lot for my liking let me stop talking feels good Ooh, okay that's nice it does look really, really pretty, and it actually doesn't clash with the look. Neither does that peachy color that I applied um, with the uh, Fenty Cream Blush. Uh, definitely looks beautiful. Um, I really, really like that it's a little bit more sheer with like the tiniest bit of tint. I don't like wearing lipstick all too often, to be honest, and this is just right. Enough color, enough pigmentation, very, very comfortable, mm, nice and glossy, and making my lips look good. This too, overall, I think is a really, really great value if you've never tried the, which I'm sure you have. Like I said, I'm like the last person on the planet who's trying Fenty Beauty, right? Yes, but I really enjoyed the cream blush. I think it looks beautiful and I'm excited to incorporate this into other looks. This was intimidating at first, but it definitely blunted out to something beautiful and wearable and something that my light to medium skin tone can rock. And then the lip gloss was also 
super intimidating because I was uh, thinking that the creams were a lot more pigmented than like the regular gloss. And I think it's such a lovely shade and it complements everything really, really well. And that's all I've got for you guys today. So hopefully you enjoyed today's little uh, try on. Expensive makeup I've always wanted to try but couldn't afford. Holiday edition. Ooh, okay. I like that one because a lot of these products are obviously the holiday uh, edition with the exception of the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Um, again, I really enjoyed all of the products that I tried on today. Most of you know that I don't ever purchase too many high-end products and lately since I've been wanting to dabble into them and I can, I feel like I finally understand the hype of some of these products. The Hourglass products are gorgeous. The Fenty Beauty cream blushes are 10 out of 10. I loved the Flawless Filter. You could still kind of see it there. It just, everything looks really good. Oh, and the Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette. Gosh, so bad at these things. But I enjoyed everything and I um, hope that you enjoy this kind of little series. I want to dabble into other things here and there. If you have any recommendations, of products that you really really like um, and you'd like me to try on camera like I'm down I'm down to do that so let your girl know let your girl know so uh yeah if you like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and spread my love for makeup and I will see you guys in my next video okay okay Mwah. bye bye